Hey everybody, I want to take a minute to introduce you to a new technology that we're releasing called SpineTech. Uh, this is available in epoxy boards. It's available stock on the Fever and the OG Flyer, or you can order it custom on any board that we make. Uh, the spine for this board was developed by Shapers Australia. They're a surfboard supply company that we work with, obviously based in Australia. They make shaping tools and, and different things for building surfboards. Great company. They developed this spine and we've been working with it for the last year to get it dialed in as far as the way the board flexes. So you can see we've got a carbon layup on each side of the spine on the deck here. And then we've got a particular carbon layup down the bottom. And as I said, over the last year, we've been testing it with the team and a lot of different surfers to get the flex characteristics and patterns just right. The thing about epoxy is it's got like a high flex frequency. If you think about like sound waves or something, and you know, you could have like a long sound wave or a really short one. If you want to use that analogy, epoxy is like a short sound wave. It's a really fast vibration sort of feeling flex in the board, whereas a PU construction would be like a longer sound wave, to use that analogy. It's like a, a slower, different feel of a flex. So what we're trying to do with this is harness that quick, uh, super resilient flex of epoxy and get it just right so that the board loads up correctly and then springs the way you want it to. Uh, every board flexes, but it's how you can harness it and direct it and get the right amount of load and release to make the best kind of surfing. So we've been experimenting with the carbon layups and we've got it dialed in in this combination. We'll show you a bit of the construction here. Uh, this is the spine, which is a composite of resin and fiberglass. You can see it's incredibly flexible. It's got a lot of spring to it. And uh, we route out a section in the board. This is an EPS blank. There's no stringer, as you can tell. And this composite stringer lays flat in the hole that we route it out. It's glued in. And it's dialed in as far as the length of it, and that's what controls the flex of the board. Let's look at a little bit how this spine helps control the flex of the EPS blank. I'll just flex this blank right here without the spine in it. And you can see how much that board flexes. That's a lot of flex to the board. And then we'll grab a board that is the same foam, same thickness, same length, all of that, but it's got the spine glued in. And you can see it's a lot stiffer and it's got a nice springy flex to it, but it's stiffened it up quite a bit and the bar runs to the correct length at the ends so that the flex is dialed. The reason that we're working with this technology and bringing spine tech to the market is because we're interested in flex. You're interested in flex too. Everybody is interested in flex that rides a surfboard. Uh, the way that a surfboard flexes is a huge determinant factor as to the way that it works. And all surfboards flex differently, depending on the materials, depending on the volume of the surfboard, and they respond differently depending upon your surfing. So flex is a really important part, and we've been playing with flex for years. Everyone's been playing with flex, but we've been trying to figure out ways to harness it and direct it and manipulate it to bring the highest performance surfboard to the market. Part of that journey was flex bar, where we had a uh, EPS blank that was cut down the middle like this, and then we had a divinacil sandwich in, sandwich in the middle of that, and a sort of divinacil stringer. And that allowed us to manipulate and harness the flex, create positive flex characteristics, and that was a good product. With spine tech, we found a way to do it which is that is less labor intensive. It's gonna cost you less. It allows us to manipulate it and uh, uh, create it more quickly and easily for our team riders and respond to their needs. 
and it's just got a great feel to it. So this is sort of the next evolution in our ex exploration of harnessing flex on EPS boards. We are working on bringing it out in PU, which will be coming to market soon. We're just dialing in that flex and how to get that all created correctly.